Hey, good morning at your command a coaching clients. Uh, creating a quick video for you today to teach you how to create a listing landing page for use at an open house. So I've had a lot of people ask me, hey, can we use command to register people at an open house? And the answer is yes. And here's how we're gonna do that. So we're gonna get into designs here first. So on the left-hand side, you can click on the little pencil with the box or designs. And we're going to come down here to the bottom right hand corner. We're going to click on this plus sign and we're going to choose a landing page and then create template. OK, so this gets us into the template creator. First thing we want to do is name what this is. So we're going to come up here, delete all of this out, and I'm going to call this Open House 23106 Lodge Meadows. OK, so I've got that. I'm going to come over in the each one of these widgets, it's something that we can include on our actual listing landing page. So I always like to start off with branded header. So it's gonna have my information, very basic there. It's not super detailed, but it has my basic information. Now, since this is an open house, I'm gonna start off with the lead form. Typically, I would not put the lead form information in first, but I want them to see this without having to scroll down at all because the first thing I want them to do is register at the open house. Next, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna add the actual listing. And each time I drag these guys, I'm clicking on them and then dragging them in. And you can see that green line here, right along here. That means it's gonna drop down in this space. If I moved up and I put it up here, well then it's gonna drop in between the branding and the lead form. And I want it to be below, so I can drop it in there. You can see it's gonna start pulling in information about the listing. So let's scroll down and next, let's say we want to put in a market snapshot for that neighborhood. So we could do that as well. Let's go ahead and drop that in. All right, and now when we scroll down, we can see here's some market trends. Let's put in a little bit of information about ourselves. So your local expert, we'll drop that in. So here's information about me. And then let's make sure that we always end with the legal footer. So we're gonna drop that in at the very bottom. All right, so now you can see we have each one of these widgets laid out and they're in order that we want them in. And now we're gonna start configuring them for our actual listing. So at the bottom right here, you see we're gonna click on configure widgets. And the first thing we wanna check on is branded header. So here we have 30 characters worth of text that we can put in. So we can say, welcome to the open house. We can say, welcome to 23106 Lodge Meadows. Let's see if that fits, just barely, right? Um, so whatever you want to put, and you'll see when we come down here and click on save and apply, it'll update it and here's what it's going to look like. Now, I'm not 100% sure why that character count is only 30. Um, it may be because visually on a mobile or a tablet, um, that's the most that you can see across, and yet that's what we've got set up. So, welcome to 23106 Lodge Meadows. We want to make sure the headshot is the headshot that I want to use. You can see that shows up here. If you had a background image, you could put in a background image. It would show up behind here. I usually just prefer the straight white. And then you're going to put in all your information. So my name, my telephone number, I like dashes personally. Uh, my email address, I put in my personal team logo. If you don't have a team logo, it's okay. You'll still just have KW. And then I'm gonna click on save and apply. And you can see it actually changed the dashes here because that was the, the format that I preferred. Um, next, we're gonna come up here to the very top right. We're gonna click on the right arrow. And that's going to have the form header text. What do I want this to say? So I'm gonna put Thank you for registering. Okay, because that's what I want them to do is actually register. Now that this widget has been configured, I want to come down and click on save and apply. And you'll see that changes there, right? So I'm gonna click on the arrow to the right of the six to move to the next widget, which is the actual listing. And I want to browse for my listings. So I click on browse listings. It allows me to search by property address. So 23106 Lodge Meadows, I'm going to search for that. Here is my listing listed here. So I can click on select. And it's gonna start asking me which of these photos do I want to have as the header image. 
So I'm fine with it just being this front image. If you have a more stunning image, maybe the pool image like this one is, or maybe it's a, an amazing, uh, you know, living space, fireplace, whatever it is, you can choose the header image. I'm gonna click on save and apply. And you can see here is the image of the photo of the home and the uh, basic information. As we scroll down, it starts giving us detailed information. It brings in my description from the MLS. And then the cool thing is, is it starts a slideshow of all the photos of the home automatically. We get a little bit more details and features down here at the bottom, and then actually a map of where it's located. And that's all from that listing widget. I'm gonna click on the arrow to the right of the six, and now it's asking me, I said I wanted to put in a neighborhood snap. So I'm gonna put in market info for Cinco Ranch Greenway Village. That's the name of this neighborhood. It's in postal code 77494. And once I do that, you can see the neighborhoods I can then start choosing from. Um, I'm not sure how this order is populated, honestly. Um, it's not alphabetized. There's no way to actually search for it. So unfortunately, you just have to kind of go through until you can find the neighborhood that you want featured. So I'm going to do Cinco Ranch Greenway Village. I know it's in here because I found it when I was testing this system. There it is, Cinco Ranch Greenway Village. I'm gonna come down and click on save and apply for this widget. So now you can see when we scroll down on our page, it now shows market info for Cinco Ranch Greenway Village. There's Cinco Ranch Greenway Village. It tells us how many active, pending, average days on market, list price, listing price per square foot. And then if you have your sold, sold statistics, those will show up over here. Next, I'm gonna to go to the next widget, which is the local market exp expert. So you can see all that information listed here. And you can put all of this information and fill it all in, whatever you've got. Anything that has an asterisk has to be filled in. So make sure you put something there. And it looks like my mobile link address is not in there. So I can pull that up. And actually, I can actually pull that by going to my KW app on my phone. So it's my KW Realty app. And on that app, on the bottom row, right in the center of the icons, there's an icon that says Share App. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on Text. Sorry you guys aren't seeing this visually, but I didn't realize that my Share App had come out. So I'm going to put in the actual address. So it's HTTP backslash backslash. Why is that not? There it goes. And then I'm going to put in my specific code. So again, you can pull this off of your KW app. And then I have my legal fitter that I've actually filled out. I'm going to click on save and apply. And let's go down to the bottom and make sure it should now say download my app. Perfect. And we definitely want that available. So make sure you have the download my app available. Um, and then we're going to go one more time to widget number six, which is the legal footer. So you wanna make sure that you have all of this information filled in as well. Click on save and apply one last time. Now we can get an idea of what it looks like by just kind of scrolling down this screen. You can also see what it looks like on a tablet and what it looks like from a mobile device. So it really depends on what you're utilizing. You can see it kind of gets wonky here on a mobile device. So I would say if you're signing people in, that you either use a laptop or a tablet so that they can see it very clearly. The next step, I just go to publish landing page. It says, are you sure you wanna publish it? I'm gonna say yes. And it's going to create my landing page. So here you see it, this is my landing page. Now this is a lot to remember. I can come in here and I can actually change this by hitting change URL. Now I have to have everything after the three three or everything before the three three one three four three, but I can change this part to open house lodge meadows something along those lines, and create that as the link. In the future, we'll be able to have full custom vanity links. However, right now you could use something like Bitly or something along those lines to create a shorter link. The cool thing is I can just copy this link now. And at my open house, I want to make sure, of course, I have Wi-Fi for my tablet or my laptop. But this would be the page that I would have on my laptop. I could thank people from coming in for coming in, ask them to quickly register and let them know after they register, they can scroll down to get more information about the property. 
as soon as they register here, it basically puts them into your KW command database. So um, it's not letting me, this is a preview, so it's not actually letting me in. There we go. So I just want to show you what that looks like. Well, why are you not there? I'm not sure what's going on with my computer right now. And email. That's not really my email, and yet I'm just putting it in as a fake test. And that's not my real phone number, but my real phone number is already in here. So once I click on send, oh, please enter a note. I'm not sure why they require you to put a note. If somebody asks, you can just put open house guest, something along those lines, and let's click on send. And then once that happens, your information has been submitted. We should now be able to see, my apologies, let me get back into command. And let me click on contacts. And I'm going to filter for most recent incoming leads. And here is my lead, right? So they just registered at my open house on the page that I provided them, right? You saw me register and immediately they come into my database as a new lead. So that's the really cool part about having them register there. You don't have to have them register on a sheet and then pull it in. You don't have to use a separate app. You can actually create that landing page have that tablet or laptop available, have them registered there, and then as soon as they register, their information automatically comes into your database, into your contact section. So pretty exciting stuff there. As always, guys, if you have any questions for Lori or I, feel free to reach out um, and let us know. We're happy to help. Have a great day.